Let's see if we can learn a thing or two about graphing using Cartesian coordinates. Cartesian, that's an N, Cartesian coordinates. And that sounds like a very fancy concept, but all it is is a way of specifying or showing locations in two dimensions. When I, mean, when I say two dimensions, I just mean something like this screen that you're looking at. On the surface of the screen or the computer screen that you're looking at, you can either go up and down, so that's one dimension, or you could go left or right. That would be another dimension. So that's why we say two dimensions. If we talked about three dimensions, you could do either of these. And you could either pop out of the screen or go into the screen. But you can't do that. So this is just a two-dimensional world, this screen right here. Two-dimensional. Now, Cartesian coordinates you can actually use for an any-dimensional world. And I won't go into that just yet. But we'll apply it to two dimensions, because that's the first place that most people really get serious exposure to graphing. So if we're dealing with a two-dimensional world, let's say we have some reference point. We have some reference point here. We call that reference point the origin. We call that the origin. If we want to specify some other point on that origin in Cartesian coordinates, essentially we just say, how far to the right or left are we of that origin? So in this case, how far to the right of that origin? And then we also say, how far above or below that origin? So we, this would be how far above the origin in this case. And so the first coordinate is how far to the right of the origin. And then the second coordinate is how far above the origin. And I'll put them in quotation marks, because this isn't the most, the most mathy way to talk about it. But this is essentially what Cartesian coordinates tell us. So let me graph some, because I think it's always useful to see some examples. So let me define my origin. And these reference lines that I'm drawing here, not that very neatly, we call these the axes. Or if we, if we want to just, let me just call this the horizontal axis right now. And, or we could also call it the x-axis. And I'll, talk, I'll tell you in a second why it's called that. Let's say we have a vertical axis like this. Let's say my vertical axis, I'll do it like that in pink. So let's say that is my vertical axis right there. So this is horizontal. Horizontal, and then I have my vertical, which is essentially how far up and down. And then I have my origin. And we specify the origin. Its coordinate is, OK, how far is that to the left or the right of the origin? Well, it's, it's 0 to the right of the origin. It's right on the origin. And how far above or below the origin is it? Well, it's only 0 above or below the origin. So its coordinate is 0, 0. So the coordinate of the origin is just going to be 0, 0. Now let's say I have some point here that looks like this. We do it in a darker color. Let's say I have some point like that. What is that point's coordinate going to be? Well, it's let me draw a line like this. Its first coordinate is how far to the right. That's what I said before. So it's let's see, it's one, two, three to the right. We could mark these one, two, three to the right. So it's three to the right. And then how far above or up from the origin is it? Well, it's 1, 2, 3. So it's 3, 3. That is this point's Cartesian coordinate. Now, what if I had a point over here? Do it in gray. Say I had a point over here. This seems a little bit trickier. So how far to the right of the origin is this? Well, we aren't to the right. We're to the left of the origin. We're to the left of the origin. And so the convention is, we could say it's, an, it's a negative number to the right of the origin. So we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is minus 6. So we are minus 6 to the right of the origin. Or you could just say that we're 6 units to the left. That a negative number here means that we're moving to the left in our Cartesian coordinates, at least the way I've drawn them. And then we are going down. 1, 2, 3. And the convention for down is we say use a negative number. So we are minus 3. So we are 6 to the left, or we could say we're minus 6 to the right. And we're 3 down, or we could say we're minus 3 up. Either way, I think you get the idea. Minus 6, minus 3 is that point right there. Let's do one more point. Let's say I have that point right there. We do it in this color. What's its coordinate? What's well, 2 to the left? It's 2 to the left, so it's going to be minus 2, right? 1, 2. And then it's 1, 2, 3, 4 up. So it's going to be minus 2, 4. If you compare it to these axes, right here you would have the point on this axis plus 4. 
And over here on this axis, you would have the point minus 2. It's that straightforward. Now let's go the other way. Let's actually graph some points. Let's say I want to graph. Let's say that I want to graph the points. I don't know. Let me pick. Let's say I want to graph the point minus one, two. I want to graph the point. I want to graph the point seven, four. I want to graph the point three, minus five, and I want to graph the point minus four. Minus four. So where are these points going to be? Well, the first thing I have to do, I have to specify my origin. Let me do that. So let me draw some axes here. So that is one axis. That's my horizontal axis. Axis. And this is my vertical axis. And then I could draw them better than that. Let me see if I can draw a little bit straighter. That's a little bit straighter. And of course, right at the center, the coordinate for the center of the origin is just zero zero. So it's just 0, 0. That's your origin right there. Let's graph the rest of these points. And I'll make one, one little side note here. I said in the beginning that this horizontal axis, this horizontal axis right here, is often called the x-axis. And this vertical axis right here, this vertical axis right here, is often called the y-axis. And this is just a convention, because when you write these coordinates, people tend to call how far you're going in the horizontal direction the x-coordinate x coordinate and they the second number how far you go in the up or down direction is your y coordinate y coordinate this is just a convention that you normally say that your coordinates are x comma y how far you're moving to the left or the right of the origin how far you're moving above or below the origin so given that let's graph these guys so that first one i had it in pink so i'll graph it in pink minus 1 2 for one to the left, that's what the minus tells us, we're moving to the left. So we're going to go one to the left, right there. So our x coordinate is minus one. And then we're going to go positive two, that's our y coordinate. So one, two, positive two right there. So it's that point right there is minus one, two. That's that point right there. Now the next one was seven, four. So we're going to go seven to the right. We have a positive number, so we're going to go to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Its x coordinate is 7. Its y coordinate is positive 4. So we're going to go 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's that right there. So that is 7, 4. Now we have this character up here 3 minus 5. So we're going to go 3 to the right. Remember, the first coordinate is in the horizontal direction. So we go 1, 2, 3. And the second coordinate is are up or down. It's negative, so we go down. So we're going to go down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is minus 5. This is 3. So we go 3 to the right, down 5. We end up right over there. 3, minus 5. And then finally, I have this point here, minus 4, minus 4. So this tells me 4 to the left of my origin. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's an x coordinate of minus 4. And this tells me 4 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a y coordinate of minus 4. So it's 4 to the left, 4 down, gets me right there. Minus 4, minus 4. Now, given what we've just learned right here, let's see if we can use this in the adaptive program I've written. And if you don't know what the adaptive program is, that's fine. It'll still be instructive, I think for being able to graph this. So the level one graphing module on the adaptive program, it gives you problems like this. And it asks you which of the coordinates, which of the coordinate pairs is not is not graphed. So you look at these coordinates and you see if they are graphed. If one of these isn't graphed, then that's your answer. So let's look at this. I have minus six, minus six. So that's six to the left, right there, and then that's six down right there. So that's that point. And if you're watching this in HD, you will see that this is definitely graphed. Minus 6, minus 6, just like that. Let me do it in a darker, in a darker color. In a darker color. What about the point 1, 0? Well, that's 1 to the right and 0 up. And if you see, if you're watching it in HD, which hopefully you are, you'll see a point there. So it is definitely graphed. So it is 1, 0. So both of these are definitely graphed. So those are not our choices. What about the next one? Minus 8, minus 9. So that we go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's our 
x coordinate, and then minus 9 is our y coordinate. So we go down 9. So we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's nothing there. It has not been graphed. There's nothing here. There's nothing there. It should have been. It has not been graphed. So that is our answer. That one has not been graphed. The other ones have been. 3 minus 1 is 3 to the right, minus 1 down. That's been graphed. 3, 6, 3 to the right, 6 up. That has also been graphed. So everything else has been graphed. And actually, this year, we didn't even see a choice for this, but this has also been graphed. Minus 1 all the way to 5. So this is the point minus 1, 5. Not one of the choices, but it's also graphed there. Let's do this one more time. Let's do it one more time. OK, so the point minus 6, minus 1. 6 to the left gets us there. That's minus 6, if you can read that. And then minus 1, 1 down, gets us to that point. It has been graphed. 4 minus 6. 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. And then 6 down gets us to this point right here. It has also been graphed. So neither of these are the correct answer. Minus 9, 4. We go minus 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9 to the left. That's what the negative tells us. And then we go 4 up, 1, 2, 3, 4. It has been graphed, so that's not our answer. 4, 2. We go 4 to the right, 4 to the right, and then we go up 1, 2. 4, four 3 has been graphed, but 4, 2, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So it has not been graphed, so 4, 2 is our answer. Just to make sure, let's see if 1, 5 has been graphed. 1 to the right, positive 1 says to the right. 5 tells us 5 up. It has indeed been graphed, so that's not our choice. So the answer was 4, 2. Hopefully this gives you a good, at least, basis to go on and, and start graphing things with reckless abandon.